Hello, welcome to the Lean Six Sigma Green Build course. So uh, we're going to discuss uh, what all do we have today uh, as an agenda. So we are going to cover uh, what is quality. Uh, we will have Six Sigma as an overview. What is the difference between Sigma and Six Sigma? Uh, we have different methodologies like BMAC, DMA, DV, and DFSS. We will have basic statistics that we are also going to cover in the Green Belt course. Then we have process capability, um, and then we have way to commence a project. Okay. Uh, if I talk about uh, the uh, methodology standpoint, we have define, measure, analyze, improve, and control. And there are certain topics that we are going to cover in each of the stages. So, so let's start with our first training. Okay. So first of all, we would like to know what is quality. Okay. Uh, since we are going to cover uh, Six Sigma Green Belt course, so it is very very important for us to know what is quality, and then we can gradually move to Six Sigma Green Belt course. Quality is a feature of any product which are which is capable of satisfying customer need. Okay, uh, because every customer is looking for a better quality. Quality could be faster services, could be an error free services, could be better than anybody else also. Okay. Another thing which comes into quality is do the right thing and do the thing right every time. Because customers these days, as you know, don't want to wait for the things to happen. They don't want to wait in a queue or they don't want to go to the different different offices which we are located. So customer always want the things to be done right first time. Okay. And another definition of quality as per American Society of Quality, and just to tell you that American Society of Quality, which is also known as ASQ, that's the world number one organization for quality. They define quality as characteristics of a product or service that can satisfy customer stated, specified, implied, indirect things, which means we would define, we would say it is quality only when we are able to satisfy the customer stated unstated needs which the customer has not even talked about so it means that we have to perform quality we have to maintain quality in such a way that even though the customer hasn't said it we will be able to get it right first time what is the mathematical equation of quality which we which we will be talking about here okay which is quality is equal to performance divided by expectation Okay, which means our expectation, the customer expectation is always higher. If the if we give the same performance which the customer is expecting, our quality would be hundred percent. Okay, and it was it is always aiming to ensure that we are performing better quality. So if quality is more than one, in that case, we would say that uh, we have given more than what the customer is expecting for okay now we are going to talk about the dimensions of quality which is very very important uh, in terms of what the customers are looking for what are the things that which are very very important first thing is performance okay performance refers to a product's primary operating characteristics okay second is the features features are additional characteristics that enhance the appeal of the product or service to the user so customer is looking for a performance customer is looking for a feature and then the third is the reliability reliability is the likelihood that a product will not fail within a specified time period okay durability 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 measures the length of a product life, which means that the product needs to live throughout the customer life duration okay and serviceability is a speed in which the product can be put into service when it breaks down okay which means if the customer faces any trouble any issues uh maybe when he's using any product like uh he's using uh his shoes he's using the services like his cable tv uh electricity etc etc uh anytime he faces in difficulty there should be someone who reaches at his place would be able to provide him the services okay so that is serviceability so in a nutshell absence of any of these 
dimensions would lead to a poor quality. So therefore, we need to ensure that we are providing better performance, great features, ensure that there's a reliability and durability, and we provide some serviceability as a service to the customer to ensure that the customer sustains with us, retains with us, and it should not go to any other competitor. Okay. Now we would get into the mode of Sigma. Okay. Uh, before we get into Six Sigma, it is very, very essential for us to know what is Sigma. Okay. Sigma is, as you can see here, the term Sigma is used to show distribution or spread about the name. Okay. Um, and Sigma is a symbol which shows the degree of variation in the process. So in a nutshell, what we are saying here is in a process, there are different values that we have, the minimum value and the maximum value. Let's, let's say, for example, we are collecting the data for the productivity data. Okay, so we have uh, the, the productivity uh, data with us, wherein we have data for data for the entire month, wherein the data is being captured uh, day wise. Okay, uh, where we see that some of the days the productivity is 10 and some of the days the productivity is 35. Okay, so the range, the spread that we're talking about here is, is between 10 and 35. And that is what Sigma is all about. It is used to show the distribution or spread about the mean. Mean is the average. So we're going to cover mean average in the in the upcoming session. 